Okay, in this video, we are going to work on a problem that has a slightly different wording. So it says, um, show that 2x natural log y minus yz dx plus um, x squared over y minus xz dy minus xy dz is exact, and then evaluate that line integral where c is a path staying in the simply connected domain of the field traveling from 1, 2, 1 to 2, 1, 1. So there's kind of a bunch of things going on here. First of which is dealing with this notion of an exact differential form. Uh, all that really means is that the vector field you're dealing with is conservative. So what we're saying is that uh, this is partial x, this is partial y, and this is partial z. So we're gonna check to see if this thing is conservative and then after doing that, we'll try to probably use the fundamental theorem because uh, if it's conservative, we might as well. So let's see. Um, I'm going to calculate the curl of the field. And so to do that, it's a cross product. Um, first row is ijk, the unit vectors. And then we have our partials. So partial x, partial y, partial z. And then finally, we have the components of the vector field. And so it looks like this. It's got to be spaced out kind of weirdly to, to make it work. And now we've got to actually find this. So uh, first thing we're going to do, cross out, uh, cross out, mentally cross out the first row and column. Um, and then we deal with the two by two determinant. So I need the derivative with respect to y of um, this thing, which is negative x, minus the derivative with respect to z of this thing, which is negative x which is good because I really want the curl to be zero. So that's my i component and uh, the coefficient there is zero. So, so far so good. Uh, don't forget that it's minus j. So minus uh, mentally eliminate the row and column that contain j and we'll take the derivative with respect to x of negative x, y, which is negative y minus the derivative with respect to z of this thing so there's two terms. The first one doesn't actually have a z in it, so the derivative is zero with respect to z. And then the second one, the derivative of negative yz is just gonna be negative y. So we have this, which is also zero. So that's our j component. And then we need to find the k component. In my experience, the k component is always a little more complicated. I don't know why that is, um, but it seems to be the case. So plus, mentally cross out the first row and the last column, and we'll get derivative of this thing with respect to x, which isn't so bad. I mean, it looks like it'll be bad, but it's not too bad. So that's 2x over y and then minus z minus derivative of this thing with respect to y, which is 2x over y and then minus z. And that's good because uh, if you look at that, that all combines to zero. So our vector here is actually the zero vector which means uh, the curl is zero, so the vector field is conservative, and the differential form is exact. Those are kind of like equivalent things. So we showed that this thing is exact. So now what we want to do is try to find a potential function. Okay, so keeping in mind that we have uh, partial x, partial y, partial z, we're going to do that thing where we just integrate three times, make some comparisons, see what we can do. So first, Let's integrate with respect to x. So this gives me, um, it looks worse than it is because the natural log of y is just constant. Otherwise we need like integration by parts or something, but we don't need that here. Um, so we have this. Don't forget your uh, like plus c type situation, but it's always a function in these cases. In fact, uh, for this one, it's a function of y and z. So we'll see if along the way we pick up an extra function of y or z or y and z, which could happen. Let's do a second integral with respect to y or dy. So this, if you look at it, you get clues throughout, right? Like, so if you're not sure how to integrate, look at what you got when you integrate with respect to x. So the first part there is actually gonna become x squared natural log of y. I'm not doing the absolute value there to just avoid confusion. Um, because it's, there's no absolute value on uh, within the problem, right, within the statement. So like partial x just has natural log of y. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, but I do need to put in another generic function. So g2, which could be a function of x 
or Z or X and Z. And then we'll do it one more time. So it's important not to forget the negative sign there. So it's negative X, Y. Uh, integrating with respect to Z um, gives us negative X, Y, Z. But we got to put in another plus C type function. So functions of integration, I guess maybe you would call them. Um, so in this case, it could be a function of X, could be Y, could be X and Y. Let's do some comparisons and see if anything actually came of our uh, plus C type functions. So F of X, Y, Z is uh, anything that shows up, you have to count once. So uh, these are in those two, we got to count it only once. And then all of them actually have a minus X, Y, Z. So we're going to count that once. And then there's no additional functions. So there isn't a function of y, there isn't a function of z, there isn't a function of x, and like all those combinations, like they just don't exist. So this is an antiderivative or a particular function that we could use. Um, this is the function that our vector field is the gradient of, or at least a function it is the gradient of. And so we can just use it. So the line integral we're finding can be rewritten um, as this. It's the integral over C of the gradient of f dot dr. And we can evaluate that using the fundamental theorem. So we're going to do um, starting at 1, 2, 1, ending at 2, 1, 1. So we want to do f of the ending point, which is 2, 1, 1, minus f of the starting point, which is 1, 2, 1. And now it's just substitution and simplifying. So I get this when I plug in 2, 1, 1. And I get this when I plug in 1, 2, 1. And the natural log of 1 is 0. So that first part is actually just negative 2. So negative 2 minus, um, we get minus natural log of 2 plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 cancel. Overall, we get negative natural log of 2. We use a fundamental theorem. It's very helpful when you can actually do it, but the vector field has to be conservative. And to check for that, we calculate the curl and hope that the curl is zero. So you could also do this directly if you wanted to, just write a, a path um, from 1, 2, 1 to 2, 1, 1, and you can confirm your answer that way. I actually do that kind of often. I think it's a good way to uh, reinforce that these ideas are the same idea, just coming at it in a slightly different way. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.